Now let's see some main product pages. Magento and this integration enables creation of all six product types that can be created. So you can have simple products, you can have virtual products, you can have grouped products, configurable products, bundled products and downloadable products. What we are seeing here right now is a simple product. So you have basic information, you have, you have the product details, you have additional information, Users can magnify the product image. Users can write reviews for products. So we'll look through the eight reviews available for this product. The ratings, the ratings for a product can be given based on various parameters. Here. The user is also shown which of his friends likes this product. This is again a simple product. This is a configurable product. So users can buy five for dollar ninety each. They can buy ten for dollar eighty each. They can buy twenty for dollar seventy each. So you can specify such configurations while creating the product. Users can choose the size of the product that they want to purchase, the attribute which is suitable for them. After this configurable product. Let's go to a downloadable product. Ebooks. This is a downloadable product. So when users purchase this product, they can download the product from their store account. The product's file is available for them to download in their store account. You can see that there are multiple photos available for this product. Now let's have a look at the bundle at a bundled product. So this here is a bundle product. You can see the various components for this product listed here. While purchasing the product, users can choose quantity for each component as well as the type for each component. So again, all of this is configured while creating the product.
let's have a look at a grouped product type. This is a grouped product. So as you can see, this product is composed of multiple other products, couch, ottoman, chair. And while purchasing, users can choose a quantity for each product that they want to order. So this is a group product. Now let's have a look at another product type which is virtual. So this is, so now we'll have a look at the a virtual product type. So virtual pro product types are product types like gift cards, etc. So this is a dollar hundred gift card, which is a virtual product type. And I can give this to any of my acquaintances, any of my friends. Now from the main product pages as well as the various listings, users can add products to the wish lists, to the cart, they can add them for comparison, etc. So I'm adding this product to a wish list. I can see that I have three products in my wish list. Users can share their wish lists with their friends. And the people receiving the wish list will get a very attractive email. They can choose to add all their wish list products to their cart or they can update their wish lists. Now let's have a look at a user's store account. This is the account dashboard where they can see the recent orders, their address information, etc. The tags that they have added to products. Users can maintain their address book, add new addresses. They can see all their orders, they can see the product reviews that they have given, they can manage the tags, they can manage the wish list, they can manage the newsletter subscriptions and see the downloadable products that they have purchased. Now let's see how product comparison works. I'll add a few products to my comparison list. Now they're there in my comparison list. I click on compare to compare these products. So as you can see a nice comparison of these products is shown to me. So 
so I can compare them on the various parameters the various product attributes I can choose to add the one I like to the cart there's even price wise comparison I can easily remove a product from the comp all the store products are integrated with social engine score search and does appear in the main SE search results so I'll do a search here and you can see that the search results show a store product now let's do an order checkout I'll add a product to my cart there are other products also added to my cart as you can see when I add a product to my cart the store automatically suggests to me other products that I might like to buy depending on the products that are already there in my cart I can use a discount coupon code if I have it I can get an estimate of the shipping costs and the tax so I'll proceed to check out from here you'll notice how smooth the complete checkout process is so I choose a shipping and a billing address I choose a shipping method so the shipping methods which would come here are the ones that you configure from the administration of your Magento store I'll choose a payment method again if you have multiple payment options installed on your Magento store using the various extensions then all those payment options would come here you can choose a, an appropriate payment option and continue with the checkout do a review of the order and then finally place the order so it was a very smooth checkout process this store in your social engine site is also very well integrated with activity feeds feeds are published for actions like ordering products adding products to wish list etc so let's see the feeds published for actions that I had just done the products that I had just purchased an activity feed for my latest order an activity feed for a product that I had added to my wish list an activity feed for a product that I had liked so integration with social engines activity feed system is a very important social aspect and it gives a seamless experience to users so feeds for my latest store related activities are shared with my friends and other users one very big advantage that you have with this plugin is that this integration has been designed and developed to work well with most of Magento's extensions thus you can also benefit from the wide range of e-commerce plugins available for Magento. This integration also contains many caching and performance enhancements for a very good user experience on your site. We are now complete with our video showcase. Though I haven't been able to cover all the points regarding this integration, please visit the main page of this plugin on our website to see the complete specifications and useful screenshots. We hope you found this video useful. If you have any queries, then please contact us from the contact form on our website and we'll be glad to answer them. Thank you.